How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. So you had pointed out that actually I didn't put Infinity on my bow. I actually put Mending 1 and I can't believe I would make such a silly mistake. So thank you very much for pointing that out. So I want to see if I could overwrite this. Um, so I actually can't. So I can't believe I have to remake another bow. But I'm just going to skip ahead in this process and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, and that's done. So now I actually have a really good bow that has infinity on it. So because I ended up taking so much damage from the piglins, I don't think it's a good idea to have the fire protection for pants. I think I need to have protection for on all of my stuff. So I had this helmet here that I was working on. Protection 4 and Breaking 3, Mending 1. So that should be good. I'm going to put my pants back on. So close your eyes while I change. And what else did I have over here? I had thorns. Um, could I put thorns on it? I probably could, but you know what? Um, I don't think that's a priority right now. So I'm going to put these pants, this helmet away over here. Okay, perfect. And the last thing that I needed to do... I just want to get rid of this one iron just to clean up my inventory a little bit. I need to make sure that the piglins aren't mad at me anymore. Because otherwise it's going to make building in the nether really difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my gold farm over here. And I'm going to start it up. And I'm going to see if they're mad at me. So let me just click this button. Okay. And let's see. Are some of them spawning in? So just temporarily... Let's see, if I open this up like this, and I stand near them, okay, I think if this, I think if they were mad at me, I think they would come up and start attacking me. So these ones, okay, these are okay. No, oh, but you're still not going anywhere. So I'm going to turn this off, just to make sure it's working fine. Yeah, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to turn on the trident killer for this one. I don't need them to be mad at me. So it seems that this one is okay, and I am wearing gold, so they shouldn't be mad at me anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the nether, and we're going to do part two. We're going to do this right this time. My biggest fear for the nether, though, is that because the creepers can like kind of walk into this portal, is that as soon as I, um, as soon as I step through here, there's going to be a creeper waiting for me. How are they still mad at me? I don't get it. What did I do wrong? This is really crazy. Oh my god, look at this. They really, they're really thirsty for blood right now. Okay, I need to look up if, if I'm doing something wrong because I don't understand why they're still attacking me. Give me a second. Okay, so I think that they're mad at me because I was attacking them earlier inside of the nether. So I think these ones are still mad at me. So I looked up online and I think that if I give them gold, they should leave me alone. Or... Let's see. Do, can they... Can they... They can get to me now. Let's see. If I break this and I stand over here... Okay. I'm just worried because now there's two of them. What if I break this? Are they still mad at me? Okay. I think... I think they... Okay. It doesn't seem like they're mad at me anymore. Careful. Careful. Okay. I think they lost it. Well, in any case, I've come bringing a peace offering, so just in case, just to let them know that it's all good in the hood, that there's no problems at all, I'm going to give them a little, uh, little warm welcome gift. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start building this base up. So let me just protect this area a bit, and I'm going to get out all of my stone bricks. So I'm going to break this out over here. And, wow, there's so many of them. This is actually wild. Oh, but look at the nether. Nice. So we got... Nice. We got... Uh, we're stuck in this forest over here, which is kind of nice. And it looks like there's a lot of different ways that I can go, which is really, really good. And, yeah, look at that. Okay, perfect. I'm excited to start exploring this, but we need a safe base first before anything happens. So what I'm going to do is, now that they're not mad at me anymore... I can safely expand this out a little bit. And this stuff, do I need an axe to break it? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little shelter and I'll see you in a bit. 
Okay, so I finished building a nice little protection area around the portal. So I also made half slabs uh, of the floor so that nothing can spawn in here. But it is looking a little bit kind of like a prison in here. So I'm just going to add a few upgrades like putting some glass to try to make it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so I've added some windows to this place. I think it makes it look a little bit nicer. And I added plenty of windows out of the front over here because in case I need to go out into the nether, I need to make sure that there's just not a ton of stuff waiting for me over here. And these views don't really give me much, but I feel like it adds a nice little touch to this base. So the last thing I want to do is I want to also have like a secondary, um, kind of like an airlock in front of these iron doors. So I just need to add a little walkway here. I had to come back to get an axe because I want to clear away a lot of those trees that are over there. And it looks like there's like a safe spot for mobs up here. So I'm also going to close off this area as well. Yeah, and when I came up here to get that skeleton, there was two creepers waiting for me here. So this is not good because I don't know where they're going to be coming from and if they're going to just be able to drop in on one of my builds. So let me just fix this up real quick. Okay, perfect. So this was the walkway that I was talking about. So let's say I come in through the nether portal. I'm going to I'm going to be able to check outside just to make sure that there's nothing no danger waiting for me. And then when I come out here, I have a safe space that I could also look outside of. And this is really important because let's say I'm being chased by an enderman for example, I could come here and it's only a two block gap, so this will give me a safe space. And if I'm being chased by other stuff, at least now I'll be able to have an area where I could fight them off really easily instead of having to bring them in here and have them all pile up in front of the door. It's nice to have this like two sort of entrance way. So I'm just going to light up this area around here a little bit. Okay, perfect. And very good. So when I was researching why the piglins were getting mad at me, it turns out if you open up a chest near them, even if it's your own chest, they get really upset. So I'm not going to put my flint and steel in a chest. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to keep an item frame. And I think I should put this somewhere kind of safe. So let's see. Maybe I'll pick one of the corners. I'll do this. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into stone. So where's my... Here's my axe. So I'm just going to break this out just to make this look real nice. I'm going to put stone all in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an item frame, which can I do that? Can I put an item frame on the floor? Oh, yes, I can. Perfect. I'm going to put a flint and steel right in there. Okay, great. So if I ever get stuck in here and my nether portal is unlit, I have a flint and steel in here and I'm going to cover this up with... Something that makes it kind of obvious that there's something below. Maybe I'll use one of the stone bricks. Just like that. Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And I also have a second one as well. But this one, do I, I guess I'll need a second item frame then at this point. So let me go get that. Okay, so now that I got another item frame, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide a flint and steel just somewhere else a little bit further out. So let's see, this looks like a good little area to hide it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little area for me right in here. Perfect. I'm going to light it up. I'm going to put the item frame with the flint and steel inside of that. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to cover this up with a block that is very obvious. So I decided on lapis because I'm not really going to use this for anything else. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put one, two, just like that. Oh no, sorry, I meant to put the lapis. So, yeah, one, two, three. Okay, and let me just fill in these corners over here, just like that. Okay, so now, so now I'm, I'm perfectly good. I can't ever get stuck in the Nether again because I have two flint and steels in here. If I manage to get stuck in here somehow, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button because I would need all of your luck for this. Okay, so now this is coming along really well. I actually love the way that this looks. 
So the last thing that I need to do is I need the overworld, my nether portal in the overworld to be nice as well. So I'm going to need a ton of nether bricks to be able to make the nether brick floor and also nether brick um, fences as well. So what I need to do is I need to mine out a ton of nether rack so I could smelt that and turn that into nether bricks. So let me just do that. Oh, where's this? Oh, then you see there's one that's mad at me. Now's a good time to use my walkway, I guess. Let's see. Where is he? So if I come over here, then I'm protected. And where's the mad one? Where is he? Where is he? Okay. I think he kind of forgot about me. Okay. Well, in any case, I'm going to mine out a whole bunch of nether rack and I'm going to smelt it down. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay. So I ended up getting a ton of nether rack and I'm going to put this in the super smelter. So just in case you didn't know, when you cook uh, nether rack it gives you nether brick and you could use this to make like nether bricks like the actual nether bricks and i'm going to use that to finish up um, the nether portal here in the overworld so let me wait for this to finish smelting so to help me smelt all of this nether rack really quickly i ended up adding a second super smelter that all feeds into just this one chest over here so this should help me smelt all this stuff really quickly Okay, so now that I have some nether brick slabs, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in the rest of this area. And I brought a crafting table with me just because it's going to be a lot easier to make the materials here as I go. So I'm just going to keep on extending this out just like this. Perfect. I'll make another set of slabs. So... That's good, just like that. And I gotta get rid of this. Okay, so this is one, two, three behind. So this is good. Um, what I'm gonna do over here is now I'm going to be placing the wall. Um, but no, I still need to fill in the rest of this area actually. So hold on, how much more do I need? Let's do 18. This should cover how much? All of this. seven so it took 11 to do it so i still need a little bit more okay one two three okay perfect just like that so now that this platform is done i can start working on the wall and let's see how many walls can i make 18 okay that should be fine a good start for now i still have uh the uh the smelter working so i'm just going to go all around like this and one, two, well, it doesn't need to, to be so big in the back. And I want to make sure that nothing else jumps over this, uh, jumps over this mountain over here. So let me go get a bit more walls. Okay. So I was able to make some more of the walls. So what I'm going to do over here is just to make sure that it's even, there's two, two gap on this side. One, two. Okay. So this needs to go all the way to the edge over here and then completely around. Okay, good. Now I just need to clear out this mountain over here so that no mobs could just walk over it so let me go get my shovel okay and that's it so check this out i now i now have a nice area that is completely protected so that no creepers could just walk up in here go through the portal and spawn camp me as soon as i cross through so i think this is a great place to end this video so if you liked it please leave me a like leave me a comment tell me what you think and hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it all right have an awesome day toaster out